fingers. Something pretty difficult to master, but not so difficult if they're Minecraft fingers. Today we're going to be making a Minecraft hand with fingers, a thumb, and all that jazz. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the camera and the... Uh, we can keep the lamp actually this time. And we can also keep the default cube. Yay, it's a happy day for default cube. So, of course, if you've already modeled your Minecraft uh, uh, hand or arm or body, uh, which I've done in a previous tutorial, you can check out right here on that card right on the screen right there. Uh, of course, you can always go look at that and model that arm from there. But we are going to actually add in one more loop cut right here. So we're going to grab loop cut and click right there once and drag that to about right there. Um, so we're also going to add in some other loop cuts right here. So we're going to grab loop cut one more time and we're going to put that right there in the middle. And then we're going to scroll uh, just twice. So we're going to add in three cuts. So that's two scrolls, right? One, two. Two scrolls, three cuts. Boom. We're going to uh, left click to add that and then right click to cancel that movement. So now we have four finger type things right here. But as you can tell, the fingers are going to be quite large. So if I make this a finger right now, that's that's quite a thick finger. So we're going to undo that and we're going we're gonna to grab this line right here. This loop cut we made earlier. We're going to uh, hold down alt and shift to loop cut that to to uh, select that entire loop right there and we're going to move that up on the z axis something about right there looks pretty good all right so then we're going to go go back to face select mode and we're going to grab our finger and hit uh, 5 7 on our on our keypad over there and now we're going to want to we're going to want to grab the first finger and the ring finger hit 7 again on an unpad and we'll extrude those by hitting E and we'll extrude those to about right right there looks pretty good because the the index finger and the ring finger are usually the same length or very similar to the same length we're gonna grab the middle finger there and we're gonna hit E on our keyboard to extrude that just above the rest of the fingers something about right there right there all right, and you, of course you can do the same length for all the fingers, of course you would do that. Um, but I'm going to do different lengths because I like the way that looks a lot. So, uh, we're going to grab the pinky, which is the last finger, of course. And we're going to hit E and extrude that to just above half of the finger length. Something about right there. Looks pretty, pretty good. So, we have all our fingers. They're all separate, so we can move them separately. Because if we extruded that entire thing, like we did before, if we select all four of these and then just extrude them, you'll be able to tell that we can't move them independently. They move all together. So, that's not something that we want. So, we did have to do these separately to have them move separately. So, we're going to add in the thumb now, which this might get a little tricky. So, we're going to add in two loop cuts. Um, actually, we're going to add in one for right now. We're going to add in one loop cut right here and drag that to about there. Hit five of my numpads to go out of orthographic mode again. One more loop cut right about there. And that looks pretty good. Maybe drag it back a little bit. So now we're going to take this little portion of our hand, of our, of our fingers, arm, and extrude that on out. Something about right there. Kind of trying to, trying to kind of stay with the width of the fingers that we have there. Um, so that looks pretty good. We're going to take this little uh, plane right here and extrude that to about right there. About half of the index finger. And now we have our thumb pretty much. So it looks pretty good so far. Um, but now we need to actually add in the bones. That might be a little long. So let's select this this loop cut right here and drag that back as well if we drag that back you'll be able to tell that the uh, that the uh, the loop cut also does that so we might want to we might want to redo that one more time so select this entire loop cut maybe drag that back a little bit and then extrude this piece out right there and then extrude that on out something like that all right so now we're going to add in our bones so this should be pretty simple it's pretty straightforward we're going to add in uh hit uh, shift c to put my uh, cursor back in the origin of the scene uh shift a and go down to armature and armature and single bone drag this this box open here and select this bone tab right here right here the armature tab hit x-ray so we can see what's going on rx 90 on my keypad to uh, to rotate that on the X axis 90 degrees drag that on back to the bottom of the arm or the front of the arm depending on how you're looking at it <laughs> tab into that and drag this point out to about the middle and then we're gonna extrude that from the elbow to the um, 
to the hand there by hitting Y, keeping that on the uh, Y axis right there. And now from here, actually, we're going to drag that back a little bit, maybe move this uh, whole armature up, something about right there. And now from here, I'm, I'm going to hit three on my numpad and five to go into orthographic so we can tell a bit better, better what we're doing. I'm going to move that up a little bit as well and this piece as well right there. So it kind of matches the um, where the fingers are going to be laying. Um, now, like I said before, uh, of course, this wouldn't be part of the the arm rig. So all this would be separate than, of course, the fingers. So we'll go back and now we will extrude. Uh, move this up about right there. And now we'll extrude a couple of times. We'll hit seven on an unpack. We'll extrude a couple of times to get uh, all of the bones in place. So I'll hit E and drag the one over there to the thumb. Hit E and drag that to about right there for the, uh, for the, for the finger. So it stops about right there. Uh, and then we'll go back. Extrude one more time from there. Another time from there. And another time from there. So now we have four different, actually five different, uh, bones that will connect to our fingers. Just gives it a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, versatility and easy, easy access if you want to be able to move these guys around later on. Uh, so they're all four different bones. I like having them connected to the arm bone as well because that definitely helps make things less complicated uh, with parenting and whatnot. All right, so now. We're going, to, we're going to extrude all of our fingers here, but I'm going to do these separately since I don't want to mess them up. So I'm going to select the index finger and the ring finger once again. E to extrude and Y to scroll that all the way about right there. And then we'll go the rest of the way. Make sure you hit Y to keep these on the right track and not uh, going all willy-nilly like, like that or something. We don't need bones going like that. All right, so same thing with the middle finger. Y about right there. And oops. E and Y to about right there. Pinky finger, same thing, halfway, and then all the way. All right, so we're going to start working on the thumb now. So this guy's going to be pretty much the same thing. Select that guy, E, Y, about halfway. E, E, Y, and about the rest of the way. Move that up a little bit. All right, so I think that was pretty good. We have our hand all set up. Like I said, ignore these bones. These have nothing to do with the hand. Um, now we have our hand all set up, so we're going to select our uh, our armature, uh, our hand, and then we'll select our armature. Hit Control P, and then set parent to uh, with automatic weights. If we go into pose mode, you'll be able to tell that we can now move around the bones in the fingers. But the problem is, as you can tell, it moves very weird. And the reason for this is because our actual hand doesn't have very many vertices to bend. So, we're going to fix this by adding some loop cuts. Add a loop cut there, 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 on the pinky, and on the ring finger right there. If we try to bend these one more time, you'll be able to tell that they've been much nicer now. And if we were going for a Minecraft-like thing, this would definitely be the end of the road here. We don't need to do anything else. And of course, you might want to do a bit of weight painting to fix uh, all of these, these vertices that are moving when they should not be. So, let's select that and do a little bit of these. I'm not going to do all of them, just so you can tell what the uh, what the deal is and what you should be doing. As you can tell, this bone is affecting uh, this a very large portion of this other finger right here. We do not need that to be. So we can go and hit subtract and get rid of some of these vertices. It shouldn't be uh, it should be attached to, and then we can go ahead and we can um, fix this and add back in the. Uh, you know what we can do? Another thing we can do is we can select. Uh, if we select the armature and try to move that around, you'll be able to tell it moves. But uh, we can also add in more vertices for the mesh to work with. So we can select everything, double tap A with our mesh selected. And then we can hit, go hit subdivide like twice or so. Hit subdivide like twice. We have more vertices to work with. And the weight painting now knows a bit better of what uh, to do. So when we try and move these around now, you'll be able to tell that it moves a lot better. But it still has a bit of... Uh, messing up around the fingertips so if we go back into weight painting mode and select this bone you'll be able to tell that that moves that piece right there so now it does not oh, there's a little piece right there and now it does not you can go ahead and do these for all the different fingers get rid of all these pieces that we do not need but that is pretty much it for our fingers tutorial for a minecraft kind of blocky style rig I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be doing more tutorials in the near future. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye.